Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Bright Cellars, the monthly wine club that brings you wine to your doorstep based on your personal preferences. You take the seven question quiz and find out what your preferences are and Bright Cellars will send you wine recommendations based on your own taste. I love that. I can't tell you how many times I've walked into a wine store and just peruse the arbitrary numbers of 90, 98, or just looked at labels in order to choose my wine. And oftentimes there would be misses for sure. So what I would end up doing would be buying the same wines that I would buy each time. So I love this idea of taking a quiz and getting personalized choices and exposing me to wines that I probably otherwise wouldn't have discovered. So Bright Cellars has a concierge team to take care of you. So for any reason you don't like a bottle of wine, they will send you a replacement in your next box. So Bright Cellars will deliver wine right to your doorstep, which is super convenient if you live in a state like I do in Rhode Island, where you have to go to a separate store to purchase any alcohol. They show you how to open a bottle of wine and the temperature at which to drink it. They include little cards, they almost look like tarot cards, of each wine that you received. On the back, it gives you some basic information about all these wines. So after you've had your bottle of wine, you can keep the card for future reference. So handy. So get started by clicking the link down below and taking the wine quiz and receive 50% off your first box of six bottles of wine. Big thanks to Bright Sellers for sponsoring this video. Today I'm going to be tackling a recipe that went kind of viral in Japan around Christmas time and it is for KFC rice cooker chicken which is pretty descriptive and pretty much tells you what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be taking KFC fried chicken and putting it in a rice cooker with raw rice and allowing the rice cooker to cook the rice along with the fried chicken. And that sounds absolutely fabulous, doesn't it? So let me step back and give you a little bit more background about why KFC, why chicken, why Christmas time. So in Japan, it's become a relatively recent tradition since about 1974, where chicken, particularly fried chicken, is eaten around Christmas time. Now in Japan, only about 1% of the population is Christian. So the holiday of Christmas isn't really celebrated in the same way that it is in the West. So in 1974, Kentucky Fried Chicken, or KFC, did this big promotion of having fried chicken as a Christmas dinner. Legend has it that this idea was sparked when a conversation was overheard of foreigners having a turkey dinner for Christmas. And since then, it's become a bit of a tradition to have fried chicken in Japan around Christmas time. So in that tradition, I'm going to be testing out this recipe. But first, I had to go to KFC and <laughs> purchase a bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken. I am so happy that they still sell buckets of chicken. And I have to say, this was the first time I ever bought a bucket of chicken. Now, my mom used to take me to Kentucky Fried Chicken on the days that my dad would work late and we would share a two-piece chicken meal, always extra crispy, and she would always eat my biscuit. So I have very fond memories of Kentucky Fried Chicken, but never did we ever purchase a bucket. <laughs> and from what I've gathered, this recipe originated from leftover Christmas chicken dinner. So let me go grab my chicken from last night. Where are you, chicken? Here you are. So now this is the bowl of my rice cooker, my beloved Sojirushi rice cooker. I've had this for many, many years. Let me think how many years, over 10 years. This thing is a champion. Love this, when I first bought it, I'm like, oh my gosh, $100 for a rice cooker, worth every single penny. We use this multiple times during the week. If you eat a lot of rice, this is the way to go. People have asked me, I don't know how to cook rice. How do you cook rice? And I say, I have no idea because I have a rice cooker. And that's how it was growing up too. We had a rice cooker in our family and we never cooked rice on the stove top. It was always with a rice cooker and it always came out perfectly. Is my container of rice. <laughs> All rice cookers will come with a special designated rice cup. And this is important. When you read a cup of rice, this isn't really a cup of rice if you measure it to Western cups. It's more about three quarters of a cup. So gotta have this. One, two level cups. So this might seem like an unusual step because what, the rice is already clean, right? Yes, it is, but we wanna remove kind of the excess starch on the outside. So take some water. I normally would do this in the sink, but for demonstration purposes, I'm doing it here. So add some water, and then you're gonna agitate the rice just with your fingers. 
and you'll notice that the water gets kind of milky colored and then you drain that off leaving the rice behind and then do that again more water more agitation rice experts rice washing experts chime in in the comments let me know why we do this i do this because my mother told me to this was my job as a child so i still do it so the water is still cloudy and i usually do this about three times so i will just put water to the two mark now rice is finicky it's not a one-to-one -one proportion of water to liquid particularly if you scale it up so this is how you would make a typical pot of white rice for this recipe, you use broth for the water portion, and I'm going to be making broth by using this. One teaspoon of chicken bouillon, instant, right in that. Mix that in there. And then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm using this soy sauce. This is highly delicious soy sauce. This was just recently introduced to me by my Asian market here in Providence. I bought a bunch of groceries. They gave me a bottle of this for free. And I said, what kind of soy sauce is this? And when I post this on social media, a few of you chimed in saying, oh yes, this is actually a knockoff brand. And it's highly delicious because MSG has been added to it. And I can confirm that it is highly delicious. So I'm gonna add one tablespoon of that to my rice. Now I'm gonna give this broth a taste. That's pretty tasty. I can always add more later. I don't want this to be too salty because then we can't take the salt out. Plus we're gonna be adding flavored chicken as well. So we wanna be able to taste our 11 herbs and spices, right? We've got a thigh piece. And we've got a giant breast piece. Okay, look at that. And my mom always said that, make sure you dry the bottom of your pot before you set it in here. Close it up and then hit cook. That's it, nothing to it. This will take about 40 to 45 minutes. So I will come back once this is all steamed up and ready to go and we'll give this a taste. See you in a bit. Alrighty, my lovelies, I am back. My rice cooker has beeped, so the rice should be complete. Let's see. Boom, look at that. <laughs> the chicken looks like it's plumped up quite a bit. It smells good. So now what we're supposed to do is take a couple forks and just kind of shred the chicken up. Ooh, and look at that. It shreds very easily. It smells great and give this a stir. The rice has a beautiful brown color to it. And while we're at it, let's have some Chardonnay. This is Cactus Park, beautiful label from Paso Robles in California, Santa Rosa. Oh, I love that sound. Cheers. Ah, hmm. Based on the card, I actually let this warm up just a little bit. I typically have white wines right out of the refrigerator, but I find it's actually quite nice having it a little bit warmer and it's dry as a Chardonnay should be and kind of oaky, but I can taste some citrus in there. Alrighty, now let's have our KFC rice. Alrighty, itadakimasu. Mm -hmm. And this is great. It's very simple and humble meal, but what I really like about this is that it's a great way of reheating leftover chicken. I found in my experience when I reheat leftover chicken, particularly fried chicken, it just doesn't have the same flavor. Something about reheating chicken, it just doesn't taste all that great. But in this case, it totally is wonderful. Something about the braising in that liquid and cooking with the rice makes it taste like you just cook it not like you had leftovers and stuck it in a pot of rice, which you did. <laughs> and now it's about to be kicked up with my favorite hot sauce right here. Oh yeah. Now let's have that. Yeah. Boom. A little bit of heat, a little bit of acidity. Alrighty, my lovelies, there you have it. KFC rice cooker rice, absolutely delicious. Very, very simple, humble meal. 
Highly recommend it. Great way to use leftovers. Thank you so much for watching and big thanks to Bright Sellers for sponsoring this video. Click the link down below, take the wine test and get started with 50% off your first box of six bottles of wine. Please share this video with your friends, follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye! <laughs>